kind words. Um, listen, you said a good speaker in French. Maybe I misunderstood. Did you say English or French? I said the language of love. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hug you. I want to hug you. But thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm very excited to be here tonight. And I want to, you know, give it back to Matthew because every time he talks about mindset, leadership, you know, some of you guys got the message, but I'm telling you, some of you will go to bed tonight or tomorrow you'll wake up and or some there's going to be something that's going to pop up and say, oh, you know, I remember this from Matthew or I remember that. And that's the thing uh, I really, really appreciate from Matthew is, you know, it doesn't need energy because what he says, it's powerful. And there's a lot of things, uh, not just in business, in ACN, but in life. I talk to him sometime and he says things I'm like, okay. And then the next day I'm like, yeah, you know what? That was, that was, he was right. Or this is true. And, and, and that's what I realized in this leadership of ACN is everybody's different. So sometimes you could listen to leadership. Um, it could be listening to Teresa Moore. It could be listening to, um, you know, uh, Lucy. It could be listening to uh, Barbara that was on the, the host this, the, today. Uh, and you can listen to them and say, oh, I'm not like her. I'm not like him. And that's the beauty of this concept. You don't have to be like them. You have to be you. And I believe leadership, it's not about um, copying somebody. It's about being inspired by people but being yourself. And that's the most important thing in this business. And I'm telling you right now, I've seen a lot of people uh, successful in ACN and I've seen the last few months traveling and talking to people. I've seen people getting their identity as a leader in ACN Canada. And I'm telling you, there's some people on the Zoom that's going to be the next SVP of this, of this company. And I'm very excited tonight because, you know, I've been involved in this business for, you know, 20 years. <laughs> and a lot of people say, wow, you know, you started when you were 20, uh, when you were eight years old. And I, I understand, I understand. No, but uh, honestly, I, I started uh, when I was 19. And, and for me, when people ask me what I'm grateful for is what I'm doing every day and every week and every year is helping people. You know, I have a son that is 10 years old. I have a daughter that's eight years old. And uh, we're doing homeschooling for the past two years. And it's so funny because even before we started to do homeschooling, they used to go to school and, you know, my son, when people were asking, what, what is your dad doing? You know, and my son didn't understand much. He was like, oh, my dad speaks in front of people and he makes people laugh. <laughs> so the teachers were thinking I'm like a comedian, like a, a French comedian or something. And, uh, and I brought my son for the first time to uh, an event with the, the leadership of Calgary, you know, Mohammed. Uh, all, all the leaders there, you know, uh, Marlene, and, 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 and he was there listening to the training, and he was listening to Kang. He was listening to RVP Kang. He was listening to RVP uh, Platinum uh, Mohammed. He was listening to Marlene, and he was like, God, these guys, when they speak, they, they're saying stuff that is real, you know? Work harder on yourself than you work at your job. Like, I, like he was saying, like, don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Dad, I need to be better in soccer. And I was like, you know what? This ASIN system is just, is just personal growth. Like, yes, we want to get paid. Don't get me wrong. We want to get paid, people. But it's so much about, like, after the conference, my, my son, he just came back and he was, like, so inspired. And I remember he said, he said, he said something to me. He said, Dad, I was trying to tell you I needed to go to the bathroom after the conference, but you're like a celebrity. Everybody was talking to you, you know? But it was really funny because for me to see the reaction of a child going to, which is 10 years old. So for him, he's, you know, in between adult and child. But he came and he went off at home and he had a different mindset. And he doesn't understand our ACN, but what he understood is the trainers that were doing training in Calgary Got him to the next level. He came to his soccer practice with a different mindset. He came in the morning. He did other stuff. He started to help out the house. He started to do things because he realized if he wants to grow, he needs to better be a better person, and not just in in in, in one sphere, in many sphere, right? So tonight, guys, I'm gonna give you a training. I don't know what you're doing. If if you're doing the dishes, dishes, take a break. If you're watching Netflix, just chill. Press pause. I'm going to do a 20-minute training that literally 
change a lot of new IBOs uh, in Quebec, in Canada, in the U.S. It's it's something that I've learned, and we had like somebody uh, within 62 days that become RC. So I'm basically doing my training based on helping new IBOs that's going to sign up in your group, and they're going to go RC in 60 days. So there's going to be a lot of a lot of info, but I want you guys to pay attention. So first thing I want you guys to know. Uh, we're having um, a new, we had a new Instagram account uh, with a social media team. So if you can go, if you're on Instagram, go on ACN Canada Inc. And make sure you follow and make sure you comment, you share. You're going to see videos of the last events. And we're going to do each event. We're going to have some videos and, and, and photos for the leadership uh, to be shared. So it's a great content. It's a great way to also show uh, credibility. You need to understand some people will sign up in ACN or some people will look at ACN. If they just go on the page and see testimonials, success stories, it, it's going to be better and better and it's going to give, give us a tool to build this business. So make sure you, you go on uh, ACN Canada Inc. Um, on the Instagram account. Now, I want to ping back all the ACN influencers. You know, this is the first time 2022 ACN decided to uh, make a leadership group in Canada. And for me, I admire that group because that's a group of people that are committed. They're putting time and effort. They're training people. They're helping people, not just in their group and everybody's group. So, you know, it doesn't matter who upline is, guys. You got to make sure that you're grateful for them. You know, I know Franco LaFranco is living in Arizona. Good for him and his skin, you know, with the good son. But I appreciate him because he's pouring every week into uh, our leadership and then and, and, and training uh, we have so many people like Guillaume Tremblay move from Canada to Portugal, but you know, 90% of his business is here in Canada. I thank him because he's doing a lot of stuff online. We got so many people uh, that are doing a lot of uh, live event too. So guys, make sure if you have uh, the chance to talk to an influencer for, for Canada, make sure that you stick to them because guys, th this is a great group of leadership and I cannot wait to see. See you guys, for those that are influencers now, I cannot wait to see you in Xcaret, Mexico in the next few weeks. We're going to have a blast, all right? So first training, get ready. So what we need to do right now, if you want to build an RC in 60 days or less, first thing you need to take action because you need to understand as a leader, if you're thinking, okay, I'm going to take notes and I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I take the most notes, I'm going to revise my note. Notes doesn't mean nothing if you don't put action. Meaning, if you're going out there, and you're not talking to people, you're not doing ACN. You know, you cannot be a secret agent. You know, James Bond died in the last movie, okay? So there, he's, there's no more action with James Bond. So what you want to be is no more than James Bond. You want to make sure that you're the guy or the girl that's going to take action and that you're going to be on the field. Now, we always say doubt will take you out of action, but action will take you out of doubt, meaning... If you're not recruiting yourself customers or you're not recruiting new members, new IBOs, guess what? You're going to start having some doubts. You know, I have an IBO lately that called me and said, Matthew, I had an internet problem connection. And I'm like, okay, what's new? You know, like, like tell me what, like, that's a problem. Like, go on telecommunication business. Like, what's up? And he's like, well, this, that. I said, okay, well, first thing for it, when's the last time you acquire a customer before this one? Well, maybe 2021. I said, well, that's the thing. If you're going to the gym in 2021 and in April of 2022, four months after, you're, you're going back to the gym, you're going to get rusty, buddy. And once you go there, you're going to be negative. Because what? Because you're not used to have sore muscle. You're not used to be not as strong. And that's the thing in ACN. When you're in action, you don't care. There's an issue. Great. Let's fix it. You know, uh, there's an IBO quitting. Great. I'll get a new one. But if you're not in action, everything will be like amazing. It will be, oh, this is horrible. But guess what? When you're in action, it's just, okay, that's part of the business. As a leader in this business, you get paid to, to solve problems. We are problem solvers. So if you're going out there and not putting action, guys, this is the number one thing I'm telling you. Your team will do what you do. Some of you are saying, okay, I'm going to be on the Zoom. I'm going to do this. Guess what? Zoom is just a way to hide a productivity because you can be on a zoom and doing other things but if you have guests guess what when the zoom ends you're going to be closing people in another zoom you're going to be making calls so you need to make action for your people to see that you're putting action now there's a difference between activity and productivity so again when i go out there and i'm talking to people you see 
we went to uh, Quebec City last week. I was with Alex Baudry, RVP, and uh, Matthew Ambrose, and we were talking to a new couple. So basically, Alex Baudry tap rooted. He find a great couple that are doing ACN, very solid couple, uh, already very busy. Three kids, you know, they're they're they they have their business. They want to have a job. They're very busy. But the reason we told them they're going to be very successful in ACN if they put action is because they don't have 50 hours a week. When somebody says, oh, I have all the free time in the world to do ACN, I'm not saying it's not good. I'm saying that 90 plus percent of the time, I don't like it. Because when people have a lot of time, they think time is just free. Time is not free. If you're busy and you only have five hours a week, that five hours a week might be producing more than the 50 hours a week of somebody trying to do ACN. And the reason is this, because when you're saying I'm doing ACN, you could be doing social media. You can be thinking about your script. You can be thinking about stuff. But when you're doing that, you're not being productive. You're just doing activity that's not going to pay you. What is productivity? It's making sure you're either booking an appointment, making a presentation, acquiring your customers. If you're doing other stuff, when people say, well, I'm, being, I'm doing my personal growth. Great. Personal growth is essential, but it's not part of the productivity in your business. You're sharpening the ax. When you're doing personal growth, when you're making a list, it's part of, ax, uh, of sharpening your ax. It's not part of being productive. So the reason I'm saying that, because a lot of people say, well, I'm, I'm doing super, a lot of action. I'm doing, a, well, show me your agenda. And most of the time when I say, show me your agenda, and I see it, if they have one or if they show it to me, I see that they did two, three presentations during the week. Guys, this is not productivity. You're doing mostly activity, and you're based on three presentations based on productivity. So make sure that when you look into your calendar, how many presentations you did, how many customer acquisition did you do yourself or with your team. And that's how you're going to be compared if you're just doing activity versus if you bring productive. Now, the key to bring momentum, which is create our RC in 60 days, okay? Now, ACN created this, this position called RC because there was a huge gap between EPL and RD. There was a huge gap, and now they're putting, you know, $100 more in the comp plan. They're putting stuff for you to make sure that you bring momentum from an EPL to RD. And the way to do it is very simple. In my 20 years of experience, this is two items, two key points. If you want to build momentum, number one is you need to act rapidly. So the way I'm thinking when I sponsor a new IBO, the way I'm thinking is this, is, hey, man, this guy could be or this girl could be my new SVP in my group. But the other way, I'm thinking this person can quit tomorrow. And the reason is this, because I always look up to people that sign up in the business. I always see the potential. It doesn't matter if somebody is broke, don't have a job, whatever background, I don't care. This person can go from there and could go up to the best SVP in this company. But also I'm thinking, well, this person could talk to somebody and get demotivated tomorrow. They're not going to be doing ACN. The reason it needs to be rapid, because when you put action based on a short period of time, this is where you create momentum. If you're thinking, well, I'm going to launch the person next week. Guess what? It's too late. You're not being rapid. You need to be rapid on contacting people with them. You need to be rapid about customer, uh, acquiring customers with them. Number two, which is very important, I think that's the most important aspect, is you need to create a check fast. You need to get the three services out of the way for the $75. You need to get the ETL promotion. Guys, if you're creating ETLs, if you're an ETL factory and you're creating ETLs after ETLs after ETLs, you're going to bring momentum. And I'm telling you, once you have two, three ETLs within the first 30 days, you could stop. Literally, you could say, guys, I'm going to vacation. It's still going to go on because people, when they have checks and they have action within a rapid period of time, it's, it's called momentum. And it doesn't matter if momentum is start with 10 people a month or if it's 100 people a month. Momentum, momentum start with people that are excited. And the only way to get people excited is to act rapidly. And number two, it's to uh, create checks. And a lot of people say, well, what do, you, what do you mean of being rapid? Uh, give me an example. Uh, we opened up Columbia years ago. And I remember I, I look at my you know, contact list. I had nobody. And I called this old IBO. And I remember he was Colombian because every time I was with him, we were arguing. My wife is Mexican. And he was like, no, you know, Colombian, 
Colombian lady, this and that. And I'm like, no, 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 Mexican, Mexican. We're like arguing, uh, having fun. And he, let, uh, within a few months, he just disappeared. And I, re- I just remember it. So I said, you know what? I called back this guy. And this guy was from Toronto. And Matthew, Matthew know who this guy. Well, I mean, he might remember. So I called this guy and say, hey. I'm saying, how are you? What you doing? And he's like, great, great, great. I said, listen, I know that you quit ACN. I get it. And it's not a problem. But we're open up Colombia. And I want to make sure that I can help people in Colombia. And if you want to be part of it, I can kind of renew your position and we can resign up depending how much time, but we, we can create a new group. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm not too sure. I say, okay, no problem. I said, listen, who would you have in mind in Colombia that would be, you know, maybe open to make more money or with this ACN opportunity? He gave me two names, guys. With those two names, okay, I've recruited over probably 2,000 IBOs with those two names. Like one of them signed up, so out of the two. Over 2,000 IBOs from one name. But the thing is, I call somebody that quit. I ask for numbers. I call the people, and I took action. So action quickly, and and again, the checks that's going to come in with, with the IBOs. Once you do that, guys, it's going to be exploding. And the other day, I was signing up a new IBO under uh, one of my uh, one of my RD, and I'm talking to the guy. I'm like, hey, we're we're launching Canada. He's like, well, listen, I I signed up in ACN years ago, and like, I say, no, no, we're launching ACN. Like, when you launch a rocket and you go to Mars, you're coming back. But after you need to relaunch another rocket, well, I'm relaunching a new rocket to Mars, and Mars means right, we're going to bring back new. RVPs and SVPs, we're going to create new success stories. And this rocket is leaving right now. And when people understand that it doesn't matter what you say, if you're excited, people will follow excitement. People follow energy. Like a lot of time people say, Matthew, how do you do do presentation and be energetic? And this, I say, well, if I'm doing a presentation for 20 minutes, I'll bring my A game. If I have a one hour basketball game, I'll bring my A game. So what you got to do is very simple. When you're doing this, you got to be focused and you got to be talking about launching IBOs the proper way. And the way a rocket works, by the way, guys, more than 80% of the gas is from the takeoff. So when you want to bring momentum, the first time that you're going to act quickly, and you're going to bring checks to the person, you need to launch the person very rapidly and really a lot of energy in the first 30 to 60 days. If you do that and you meet a lot of people, you do a lot of calls, guys, it's going to be worth it because this is where the energy takes off. The first 60 days, 30 to 60 days, this is where you're going to put energy and gas. Now, key point that I'm doing with new IBOs for creating a success story. Number one, make a contact list. That's imp- we know that if you've been around ACN for the last few months, few years, you've heard about it. But make a, make a detailed contact list. So I tell people, who do you know in Alberta? Why? Why? Because this guy is doing an event this day. Who do you know in Toronto? Why? Because Matthew Ambrose and Simon Abood is going to be in Toronto next month. Who do you know in Montreal? Who do you know there? And I'm making a list of not just somebody that they know in their own town. I make a list of people that I know that I can be uh, online or I can send them to a meeting. So make sure when you make a list with people, Make a list of 20 people, 50 people. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a long list. I never scare people saying, hey, you need a list of 500 people. If you do that when you si- sign up a rep, an IBO, you're going you're gonna to lose most of them because they don't think of 500 people. They know more than 500 people because on their Facebook account, they have more than 500 friends. But most of the time when you say a big number, they're going to be shut up. So make sure you create 20, 30, 50 names right away so you can contact. Because I told you, I'm going to tell you during this training, number one, action. Number two, you need to be rapid and create checks. So for that, you need a contact list. Number two, you need to, uh, it says QC because my computer is French, but it's it's, uh, quickly CQ the person. So meaning that you need to qualify the person right away. So that means what? That means within the first 48 hours. So if you sign up somebody tonight, well, if it's not tonight, it's tomorrow, or max is going to be Sunday, you need that 48 hours of time that you're going to get them qualified. The reason is this. When you qualify somebody, you're taking action. Can we agree with this? Yes. Number two, you're taking action rapidly. And number three, you're making them a check. And you're not just making them a check. You're making all the upline, all the 
ETL, RDRC, and the RD above are making checks. So when people are making money, guess what? This is where momentum starts happening. Now, go over different approaches because when you sign up a new IBO, if you're say, signing up, let's say, uh, Kevin Angel, let's say, Dr. Kevin, you're, you're not, you're not going to approach a doctor's contact or a businessman contact the same way that you're going to uh, contact somebody as 18 years old. It's not going to be the same approach. So you need to adapt to the person you're talking to and the approaches. Like some people say, well, me, when I'm launching a rep, we need to call everybody. Listen, somebody that is 18 years old, if you're telling them we're going to call everybody, it's like, it, it's, they don't, they don't understand. They're like, I don't talk to my friend. Like I I text them, I, I send them a message on Instagram, like I, I send a voice memo on WhatsApp, I don't call, like it could be weird. So you need to adapt to the person you're signing up, but you need to go over different approaches. Now, you need to organize right away a PVZ. So you need to say, okay, well, can we do uh, Saturday or Sunday? Can we meet people on the, on the Zoom? And you book right away a Zoom, regardless if they say, well, I'm not too sure. No, we need to book. And then we invite. If people cannot make it, we'll have another one that we're going to promote this other one. Also, which one of my good um, friend Mohammed told me the other day, he's like, man, I'd rather meet people also like it's back. It's post-COVID. I'm, ba- I'm meeting back people at a Tim Horton or a, a location. Uh, you can still do one-on-one meeting. You can do it like sometimes it's, it's, it's people that you can also see. You know, you don't, don't, don't be afraid of that because, again, there's some people that's going to say, well, I want to meet you. I want to see you. No problem. So organize the PBZ and meeting right away. I would say the first 10 days, you should focus on having 10 or plus um, uh, exposures. So meeting that you need to meet at least 10 people and more with the new person. And the last, um, the last project, the last step will be to promote events. When you sign up for a new IBO, they're going to go on the ACN Canada Inc. Instagram account. They're going to be excited. They're going to see videos. Uh, they're going to go on Saturday training with all the Canadians doing the training, all the Friday leadership. They're going to go on, on the weekly bombs. That's all good. But when there's events like tonight, when there's events uh, like on Saturday, well, you need to promote those events because they're going to see other people having success. They're going to see other type of trainers. They're going to see other uh, uh, testimonials. So that's very important in this business to see what we call social proof. Now, we're having uh, an event in Quebec that just yesterday got sold out. But just to show you, we've promoted so hard that we sold out our event with Mr. Larry Raskin and uh, Mr. Johnson Diesel, RVPP, Mr. Beaudry, RVP, and Matthew and myself. Um, so we promoted really hard because we told the people just a few months ago, we say, you know what? The first event uh, about seven, eight months ago, we were like 50 people. We say, don't worry, we're going to bring it back up. It's post-COVID. And we went from 50 to like 100 something to 200 and close to 300. And now we're having this RD and above training. Uh, that's going to be amazing content. But the reason I'm saying this, because maybe you're in Calgary right now. Maybe you're in Edmonton right now. And maybe you're in Vancouver. Who knows? But guess what? You can drive and you can fly. You know, I know Kevin Angel is coming, um, uh, came to Toronto and he flew and he had guests. Like he had personal guests. Like this is crazy. Kevin Angel, when I was in Toronto, I say, hey, he's, I'm coming to the event in Toronto. I say, do you have a group there? And he's like, no, nope, I'm in phase one. I say, okay. And he said, do you want to go watch a basketball game? I said, sure. And we went to see the basketball game together, and he had two prospects. Like, he had two personal prospects. And I was like, man, this guy is just, a, you know, he's just in phase one. He's just doing what a leader should do. But the reason I'm saying this is because you might not – be in Calgary. You might not live in Alberta, but if you know somebody and you're from Montreal, you could call that person and say, Hey, let me show you the business. They show, they see the business. Then you promote the event. That's a, the best way to do it. So we're having this event in Toronto, in uh, Calgary on May 7 with Mr. RVP, uh, Kang and Mr. RVP Mohammed and Mr. RVP Kevin. And this is going to be guys, this is going to be a great, 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 great training. We're going to have a zoom one of the Zoom owner that's going to be on on, on uh, a Zoom call that's going to give information and, and, and excitement stuff for the Alberta market. We're going to have a lot of recognition and a lot of good training that's going to make sure that we push through the summer to get more and more production in the Alberta market, which right now 
is 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 not the number one market, but I'm pretty sure will be the number one market in the upcoming months. All right. So the next event in Toronto, which even though you don't have IBOs there, you can when you launch a new IBO, you can talk about the the region in Toronto. May seven, the same day. Uh, we're going to have Mr. Uh, Matthew Ambrose, Senior Vice President, with Mr. Simon Abu, Senior Vice President, guys. And that's, it took a lot of effort because Simon just got his second baby. And uh, he's always like, oh, my God, you know, it's a lot. I said, don't worry. We've been through it. But he's going to be doing his first event in the last, you know, probably like three years. So we're really excited to get him in Toronto and, and, and eventually in other cities in Canada. Uh, but that's another way that you can promote and get people there. So take a screenshot, take a picture if you want to, but these events are going to be uh, great events to attend or to, to promote. Now, phase one is what? If, if you don't have momentum in your business right now, you should yourself personally recruit people. I tell people, if you're recruiting yourself in one month, you're focusing on recruiting four to five people yourself in one month, you're going to start having momentum. Because when you're in phase one, meaning that you're talking to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people, guess what? You're going to find one person that's going to be productive. So you need to be in phase one and yourself, don't wait on your team. Why would you wait on your team to do something? Your team is waiting on you to lead by example. So don't be lazy thinking, well, this person will be a good recruiter. No, you be a good recruiter. You talk to people. Do you know how many people right now are looking and will be looking for an opportunity? So you could be the one doing the phase one activity, not just to have production, but to lead by example. So you should be the one going at phase one. Now, once you go phase one and you want to create leaders and our season 60 days, you need to tap root. And tap rooting means what? It's a little bit like the Colombian story or I have another story like somebody in Montreal that I recruited years ago and through 10 or 11 levels, I got somebody in Ottawa and that person in Ottawa signed up and within 90 days, got more than 500 IBOs in their group. But I was just going down the list of people. And one thing I remember from Franco LaFranco, he was talking about tap, uh, tap rooting. And he was saying, you know, uh, which I was going to talk in the next few minutes. But he was saying, like, it's not about you. It's about the people that you know under you and those contacts. And I'll give you an example. I, uh, years ago, I, I, I bought a, a cottage in uh, – about an hour from where I live. And when I bought the place, the guy was like, okay, there's a big fire, you know, fireplace. And the guy's like, do you, do, are you okay to make fire? Like, do you know, or you want me to show you? I said, no, no, it's okay. I, I, I know, or I'll, I'll figure out, you know, and I, to myself, it's easy to f make a fire, you know, it's just, you put some wood and then you put some fire and then it goes off. Right. It took me like at least an hour. I was try I, I put some wood and the way I was structured it, I thought it was the right way I structured it. And I put some fire and I put a little bit some, some paper and it never took off. And I took time after an hour because my wife said, you need help. I said, yeah, I need help. I know, I know. So I'm, I, I went to see Google, which is my good friend. And I Google how to start a fire. And it started to explain it doesn't matter if you have a lot of energy in your business or in this fire example, if you have a lot of fire at the top, it's never going to go and, and really make a big fire. It's not going to start. It might go a little bit, then, it, then it's going to fade out. And the example that we're giving is you need to start from small, from the bottom. You need to put some little woods and then a little paper. And then the way you're going to build it is when the fire cuts up, well, it's going to go up and then it's going to take everything on fire. So even though there's big wood pieces at the top, if you don't put the fire down, those big potential wood, uh, you know, uh, block will not take part, will not take the fire. So what I want to say is this, okay? It took me an hour. It was a fire stuff, but I don't want you to take a year. I don't want you to take 10 years to understand that in this business to create momentum it's not about you and your first line. It's not about that. You need to create excitement in the upline. And the way to create excitement is you go down through the people. Like you sign up Rudy. Rudy, who do you know? Great. You sign up Samantha. Samantha, who do you know? I know Bobby. Bobby, who do you know? Bobby knows Steve. Steve, who do you know? Patrick. Patrick, who do you know? Patrick knows, knows Vanessa. Vanessa, who do you know? I know Simon. Simon, who do you know? I know Mohammed. Mohammed, who do you know? 
and Muhammad's going to get people good. And once you go down the line, then you're going to find a um, senior vice president, Teresa Moore. And you're going to find that senior vice president that's going to boost the fire up. And that's why I'm telling you guys, it's not about you recruiting a player or recruiting a producer. It's you going down the line and getting that person. So what Franco really, really, really um, told me years ago, and if I'm not mistaken, it was a train that Tony Kupis did. But it really helped me when I started a, 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 as a regional vice president. I wanted to build my business and go senior vice president. I went from regional vice president to senior vice president within a year and a half. So basically, it took me three years to go RVP. And from RVP to SVP, it took me four years and a half total, which is a year and a half apart. And the people are like, wow, how did you do it? Because what I realized is once I started to have momentum, I told myself, okay, all I need to do to create momentum is not to work hard and recruit like 100 people, is to recruit a few people, but then go down deep. And Tony Kupis and Mr. Franco LaFranco explained this. He says, if you can challenge yourself within 30 days to go down 20 level, and you talk to people within 20 level, you will have momentum. It doesn't matter how this, this way is going to work. It's just maybe magic. But if you go and you sign up yourself, Steve, and you're telling Steve, who do you know? And Steve gets to somebody named Simon. And then you go from Simon and you go down 20 level down. Okay. If you do that within 30 days, guys, you're going to have in that line, you're going to have momentum. And some people say, well, if I recruit somebody and I, I, I meet somebody that says, you know what, I don't want to be, I'm not too sure I want to do this business. You can still continue and ask references. So, so let's say I meet Steve. Steve signs up, gets Paula. Paula signs up, gets uh, Roxanne. Roxanne signs up, gets uh, Patrick. If Patrick says, I'm not too sure, I'm not going to stop. I'm already on my fourth line. I'm going to say, Patrick, listen, I know maybe you want to think about it, but my goal is to show you this business work. Who do you think that would like this concept right now? Like, think about two, three people and just give me names. Oh, I know this person, Bobby. I know this person, uh, Max. And I know this person, uh, Gabrielle. I said, great. Let's book some meeting. I can show them the opportunity. And once you see how they're going to react, you know, you'll make your decision. And that way you can always continue. Even if somebody says no, you're still going after contacts to show them that you're going to have something happening in their business. And I'm telling you, if you do this and you're persistent, you could go 20 level down. And if you do that in 30 days, which takes a lot of effort, 90 plus of people, you know, won't do it, even if I train on it. But those 10 people that will try or do it, either way, you will create a momentum. You'll create some action and you'll see the result will be amazing. Now, the two last thing I want to talk is you need to be accountable on your 2030 journey. So if you want to be accountable, the number one thing you need to do in the next 30 days is how many, uh, approaches did you do so you need to calculate if you're doing let's say in the next 30 days you're doing yourself i don't know uh 40 approaches okay you're approaching 40 people now you need to calculate out of those 40 or 50 approaches how many people have seen the opportunity how many exposures so if those 40 people let's say 20 shows up and you do 20 presentation and let's say out of those 20 you get let's say 10 people sign up, okay? This is how you're going to be accountable to where you need to work on your game to tap through. Listen carefully. So I'll give an example. If let's say you start, you say, Matthew, I approach 10 people this month. I said, perfect. How many presentations did you do? I did nine presentations out of 10. Great. How many people signed up? I signed up nobody. This is the way I'm thinking. He approaches 10 people. So, okay, I mean, he didn't do a lot of approaches, but at least he did 10, all right? Number two, he, he had nine people out of 10 that showed up to the Zoom or to the meeting. So that means that that person is doing a good approach. He's good. I, I, I do not need to help him to get the best way to approach people. He's good. Nine out of 10 is good. Where he needs to work and I need to help him Let's say you're working with somebody, you need to help him to make better presentation because if that person meets 10, nine people out of 10 and nobody signed up, they're missing um, training and help on closing people. Now the reverse, 
if somebody says, hey, I approached 100 people and only five people uh, saw the opportunity and four people signed up, I'm going to say, man, out of five people you did a presentation, four signed up. So that means you're, you're a really good presentation. You're doing a really good presentation. You're a really good closer. You're really doing good. Uh, but you're not doing good on approaching people. And that's how, guys, this is where it needs to be leadership in, on this call is you need to be the one doing for yourself and then you track yourself to help other people. And I'm telling you, once I understood that, I started to help people in where they're lacking skills in. Some people were really good at presenting. I, I didn't touch the presentation, but they were having this difficulty to enroll new people. And this is where I listened to the presentation. I said, man, if I were you, I, were, I, was, I, was, uh, I would say this and that, and I would engage like that. So make sure you're being accountable to those three, uh, three key points for the accountability. Now, I want to finish with this because I have some stats and I'm, an, I'm a stats guy. I love stats. Um, I check, you know, every year in my business, I check stats. I check stuff happening, what this promotion did what, uh, this event did what. I, I like to see what works, what doesn't work. And I'm going to tell you something that if you're paying attention right now, you're going to realize something. And I think your year 2022 will be different. I realized that the biggest year that I got in my ACN business was in 2009. And when I look in 2009, I look, at, I look and I'm like, there's nothing, no new services, no new promotion, no new comp plan. You know, we used to, the comp plan used to be $499 to join. Now it's $199. There, there's, there's so many benefit right now. The, the comp plan that we have is the best one that I've seen in 20 years. But what I want to say is like, I asked myself many years, why 2009 was the biggest year of growth for myself? And I was thinking to myself, did we open a country? No. Did we launch like, you know, like cell phone or something? No. But what I realized is there was a breakdown in the economy. And what I realized within years of experience and reading and talking to people that are expert in network marketing is most network marketing companies are excelling when recession is happening, when there's stuff happening with the economy. Now you guys know, but it's been a freaking good economy the last few years, even though some people say, well, COVID, yeah, I, don't, I get it. COVID has been hard, but government's been printing a lot of money. Stuff's been happening that people has been okay in Canada. But I want to give you stats in the last year, 2021, okay, 2021 until now, the gas increased 49%. The used car increased 35%. Hotel room increased 29%. Airline tickets, 24%. Car rentals, 23%. Bacon, I don't know who likes bacon, but if you like bacon, 18%. Oranges, 18%. Furniture, 17%. Peanut butter, 16%. Crackers, 16%. Steak, 16%. Suits, 15%. Butter, 14%. Milk, 13%. Lamps, 12%. Coffee, 11%. Cereal, 10%. Guys, I can give you a list going on and on and on and on and on. Guess what, guys? Guess what? The past year, more than 20.6% increase in real estate. The last two years, it's been, it's been close to 40% in Canada, guys. Now, I'm telling you something. The salary didn't increase 30% or 18% or four times. It didn't do that. Right now, there was a stat saying in, in, for Quebec, which is probably the same. The people that needs to maintain their same lifestyle of last year in 2022 needs to make $5,000 more. Why? Inflation, 6.7%. Why? Gas price. Why? Grocery. Guys, grocery. Quick story. Quick story. My wife always, like, this is just like the role in it. Like, if I go to like a Costco, or I go to a grocery, I buy everything because I, I'm just like impulsive. Okay, that's the way I am. I like everything. I'm just, okay, let's take everything. So she's like, never you're going to do grocery. I say, okay, it's okay, you know, because 
And last time she told me, go to Maxi, because there was a Maxi close here. She said, buy some stuff and, you know, we need some vegetables and fruit and don't go crazy like you do at the Costco. I'm like, I know, I know, I know, I, I, I know. I have a problem. I know. I'll be gentle. I went to Max, Maxi. It's in Quebec. It's like, uh, oh, I cannot compare to other part of Canada, but Maxi is like the cheapest gross. Like, it's just like, anyways, it's just cheap, cheaper. Okay. I went there. I go in my cart. I say, I'm just, I'm focusing. I'm just going to take vegetables, fruits, vegetables, fruits, and, and, and like lentils, like stuff that are healthy, nuts, you know, almond. I'm focusing. I'm focusing. I know the Oreos are Alley 11. I'm not going there. You know, I'm focusing. I'm taking stuff that is normal, like vegetables, like stuff like that. Like I'm being very like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm squeezing the orange. I'm looking at the pineapple and the avocados. I'm, I'm very being like the professional at the grocery. Like I'm, I, I've been years, I didn't do that. So I go at the maxi cashier and I do myself the, the stuff yourself. It was cool. It took time, but anyways, uh, like less, one less job there, you know, like, so just to see how the economy is going to go. And then I go, I go, I go. No kidding, the invoice, no kidding, the invoice that I got was the same amount that last time I went to the Costco and my wife told me, like, you're like, don't go crazy. Like, not, maybe like $100 less, $100, $150 less, but it was still like a few hundred, like a few hundred dollars. And I was like, I was looking at my card, I was like, man, I didn't take no Oreos, no candies. Like, I, I, I went really like, like, me. And I went to see the lady. I said, hey, I think the, the machine did a mistake because maybe they scanned the avocados 10 times. I'm not too sure because they look at my bill. And she looked at me like, man, you're weird. Like, this is normal, you know? So she looked. She says, everything is okay. And I came back home. I said to my wife, this is how much it costs. She's like, oh, okay, you went a little bit over, but that, 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 that's okay. That's the price. I'm like, how could it be the price? Like, I, I get out of the maxi store and it's the same price of what I used to go at the Costco. And she say. Well, I know you're doing ACN, you're focusing on ACN, but you need to understand, like, grocery has been going up. So what I want to say is this, is if it takes $5,000 a year more for people to sustain their lifestyle in Canada, I, it's for Quebec, the stats, but I'm pretty sure you guys know it's mostly the same in Canada, but don't you think we can help people make an extra 500 bucks a month? Like, think of, I'm, I have more faith and belief of helping tens of thousands of dollars, uh, tens of thousands of people in Canada making an extra 500 bucks a month than anything else I can do. Like this is, if you're asking me, this is my mission. I want to help tens of thousands of people with the leadership of Canada making an extra 500 bucks a month. Why? Are they going to get rich? No, but guess what? They, they're going to be able to sustain their lifestyle. And I'm telling you right now, back in 2009, I tracked down years ago, I said the reason I had the biggest year of my career in 2009 is because 2008, there was a crash in the real estate. There was a crash in the economy of the United States. It affected the world. I'm not, I'm not the PhD guy that knows about economy, but what I'm saying is this. When, when stuff is happening like that and everything is going up, guys, something's happening. Like, uh, like, like you could do like not look and say, no, I, I'm doing my stuff. You need to understand something happening. And guess what? In life to have success is to anticipate what's going to happen. What I'm saying is right now is this. Maybe you're saying to yourself, Matthew, I'm good. I have a great business. I'm, I'm recession proof or I have a great job. I, it's okay. Why are you being selfish? Why are you thinking of you? How many people you know around you that might get affected right now with what's happening? That maybe they're, they cannot cover stuff that they used to cover. Maybe you don't know them, but you, you're going to have somebody that's going to know somebody that's going to know them. So never think about yourself in the situation of yourself. Think about who can I help? And that's the reason I admire people, let's say like Kevin Angel, that he's like, man, I'm already set in life. But guess what? I'm doing this because I know I can help people. I like people that are thinking not just about themselves. Guess what? You need to think about yourself because when you're taking a plane and they're explaining you, you know, if there's a crash happening, you need to put your oxygen first instead of, putting to your, you know, your, your, your child first, you need to put it to yourself first. I get it. You need to be secure financially yourself, but guess what? In the process that you're getting financially independent, guess what? You're helping other people at the same time. So guys, I'm telling you this, and remember this April, 2022, there's stuff that's going to be happening. And we're here to make sure that we're helping people make a few hundred bucks a month, a few thousand per month and people that want to go full time, but we're relaunching a new rocket to Mars. And I'm telling you right now, I've been 
you know, excited about new countries opening in ASEAN. I've been excited when we went from dial-up internet to real high-speed internet, but I've never been as much exciting knowing the timing of the, the, the economy that we have and the timing of what ASEAN is doing right now. All right, guys? So I was super excited to do this training for you guys. Let's keep uh, the momentum. Cannot wait to be in Alberta with you guys. I want to thank Matthew Ambrose uh, for the training. I want to thank all the influencers. And guys, let's make sure we kick some uh, butt to the U.S. because uh, we're going to have a great year, all right? So have a great night, everybody. Talk to you soon.